my name is Will, and welcome to another review here on Alpha Omega Wolf Productions. So this review is going to be a little bit different, uh, and we apologize for it being late. We just had to find some time to get to it. Well, because mainly because this is a mini series, we're going to be discussing Pokemon Origins, which is basically just the introduction to Pokemon in general through the video games. Yep. As and someone who prefers the video games, I love. It. I actually kind of like this mini series. It's all right. Uh, it's pretty dumb, but, you know, if you want a way to, like, you know, get introduced to, to Pokemon, then this is by no means terrible. Yeah. Also, the, it fixes a couple of plot, plot holes, like how the gym leaders are supposed to be, like, the best trainers aside from the Elite Four, and yet they use such weak teams. Yeah. It's, it's, it's kind of a blinking miss it thing, but you notice that Brock has more Pokemon than just Geodude and Onix. Yeah. You just use those two because Fred was so weak as a trainer. Mm-hmm. Well, and also because uh, when we followed him, Ash, and Misty throughout the entire show, uh, he get, <laughs> got more Pokemon. Exactly, yeah. But this Brock, I feel like, is an improvement compared to... Well, somewhat, I guess. Uh, he doesn't fall in love with every single girl he meets. Thank goodness. <laughs> and Misty, she's just reduced to a cameo. Again, good job. Um, I will say, uh, this is probably something that Jessup uh, would agree on and i kind of liked team rocket from the original cartoon but uh, jessup uh, didn't there was none of them in here no jesse no james no well, there's giovanni there was giovanni but there wasn't like you know the team rocket that we followed throughout the entire show the one where they tried to capture the pokemon and then they end up getting blasted off into the sky yeah, i don't think they've aged well oh it, yeah that, it hasn't i don't think the anime has well, maybe uh, if I rewatch it, maybe I'll uh, yeah. maybe I'll, I'll agree with you. I don't know, maybe. Yeah. Also, uh, there was a death, like in "I Choose You." <laughs> yeah, it's it, yeah, but um, I don't think this one's as bad as the one in "I Choose You." And yet, yet this death also happens in the video games as well. So. Yes. Um, but <laughs> there was one point, uh, where Red is fighting, uh, Giovanni, and <laughs> Giovanni's like, wait, what am I feeling like this? And I'm thinking, oh, please don't do this, please don't do this, but thankfully they didn't go that route, uh, thank goodness. Yeah, I tricked Will into thinking that Giovanni's gonna be like, Red, I am your father. No! <laughs> oh, that was fun. And, and they just made Red, like, super OP, you know? Yeah, but he gets better as a trainer, too, which... He does. You can't really say the same for Ash. No, Ash was kind of a, kind of a doofus. Yeah. And uh, we all see Pikachu once in this whole series. <laughs> what? What did, you, what, what did you think of the Pokemon not saying their names over and over again? I think it's a, an improvement, to be honest. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because, you know, I guess uh, everybody would kind of figure out that uh, what the, the Pokemon is, even if they said their names over and over again. Exactly, exactly. Well, this is kind of like, just like, you know, a repeat of the whole original video game, which I haven't played in ages. It still holds up. Fine. Yeah, it does. I've uh, played them recently. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is uh, this, this is uh, fine if you want to get into Pokemon, or if you want want your kids to get in, or if your kids want to get into Pokemon, this is fine as well. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, I don't know if there's really necessary, like you know, a better Pokemon property, like the best one ever. Oh yeah. Maybe we'll find one eventually. Okay. But, yeah, is there anything else you wanted to add, or? No, that's it. Okay, should we discuss uh, the final week of Pokemon Month? I'm not ready for it. <sighs> should we say it? You can do it. No, I, I, no, I'm serious. Can you say it? Because I kind of forgot. Oh. We're doing what is considered the Phantom Menace of Pokemon movies. Which is? Koopa and the Clash of Ages. <laughs> Poor Tempest. I've heard, I've never, I haven't seen it at all, but I've heard things. All right, uh, so we'll be ready for that. Maybe not. 
Uh, it might go into July. Yep. So that's, so that's just about does it for this review. If you did enjoy this video, then be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more content. We'll join you. We'll see you for the next, last week of Pokemon Month and beyond. So until next time, see you later, Posse.